we just got up to Andy's, um, brought everything up that I've got. Uh, yeah, I've got a big pile of bits. Um, sort of see them down there in the blue boxes. But um, <clears throat> I've just started taking my engine apart, the 1040 that blew up. And uh, so we've got to strip that, see what we can save from it and see, if, see what we can um, see what we can put in my 998 block but yeah so there she is the holy engine um we've just i've just taken the camshaft out um luckily the camshaft's still in well it's almost in one piece we've got one one piece of damage there but um it's not a problem um the other thing um the exhaust uh bucket on um the number two cylinder which is where obviously the rod came out um, that one's jammed down you can see where it's actually taken part of the cam carrier out so um not, not holding out much hope that it hasn't bent the valve or anything like that but uh, uh we're about to get the head off or we'll get the head off in a minute and uh, we'll see see where we go from there just so all the cam carrier nuts off yeah so that should be round and that bit uh should be there nice right we got that stripped that's never gonna work um that's come up and hit the head pretty hard so that head scrap so this is the next option this is a header bought not long ago and um we put some new exhaust valves in it and uh, we're just lapping them in now um so yeah we've got a little bit of time to um try and make this head into something but uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. So I've done all the valves, they're all lapped in. Um, Andy's uh, having a go at uh, boring the block. Um, he's already done number one. Um, so um, yeah, it's exciting. This this engine, this block was one that my dad um, had machined um, uh, a number of years ago in 1990. This was his first ever 998 he had done. Um, it's even got the old Andy Chesman stamp still. So, um, yeah, a bit of sentimental value in this one. So, um, just giving that a bit of a clean up with a faceplate and some um, emery cloth and some WD-40. It's looking much better now. Um, I think we're going to pop the valves in. Andy's just finished um, boring the block out and um, honing it. Looks really good now. Um, yeah, this, this should be nice. So it's going to go in the, uh, the hot wash now. Um, be cleaned and then uh, we can start putting the um, the crank in and uh, some nice shiny uh, steel rods that's um yeah should be good hopefully uh, hopefully this one stays together right head's pretty much done as far as valves are concerned um, but we've got the camshaft in now and um, if you know an imp head you'll already know this but um, you have all of these um, shims that set the valve clearances and um, you have to fit them, spin the cam round and uh, measure the uh, valve clearances and then um, you have to whip the cam back out to change them. I, for some reason I thought I enjoyed this job and um, I'm sort of remembering now why why I don't because it's, it's a bit long and um, it's a bit of a pain but um, it's something that has to be done um, and has to be done right but um, yeah we'll get there. Right I'm on the way home now. Um from Andy's uh, Shrigley Engineering. Um, got everything done, basically got a, a race imp engine in kit form. Um, so yeah, lots of work to do tomorrow night. Um, I stopped filming in the end. We got as far as shimming the head, I think. Um, and yeah, it was just taking much longer than it should have done really. Um, so yeah, got about two or three boxes full of um, full of stuff now so I'm not even going to be able to get near it until tomorrow night I've got a day's work to do tomorrow and then um, I can start putting it back together I'll probably put it on the engine stand and um, start assembling everything so tomorrow is Thursday these videos are coming out a day late just to give me a little bit of time to sort of put them together and make sure they're you know they're, they're watchable and um, it's all mobile phone footage but you know that's that's okay um, so yeah hope um, hope you've enjoyed it uh, yeah starting to get I don't know I'm not even thinking about the driving side of anything yet I mean we you know the cars sat in the shed with um, it's got a gearbox in it so that's that's one good thing um, it just needs an engine bolted to it now and 
some miles putting on it. Hoping to get the bottom end built tomorrow night, that'd be nice, and then bolt the head on. Um, I've got Friday off work, so that'll be, that'll be a massive help. Get up early in the morning, bolt the head on, get everything timed up, and slot it in the back of the car and hopefully go and put some miles on it um, just to let everything bed in a bit before I go and try and kill it at Brands. Um, so yeah, let's see how it goes. Um, thank you for watching and hope you've enjoyed it. Um, yeah, we'll see how we go with these videos because I do, I must admit, I do quite enjoy, it's nice to keep a record of everything that I'm doing with the racing and everything because, you know, I don't know, 20, 30 years time if YouTube uh, doesn't charge you millions of pounds to watch your own stuff. Um, it'd be nice to look back on it. Um, so yeah, see you in the next video, whatever that's going to be. Uh, yeah, cheers. Uh, just before I finish, obviously a huge thank you to Andy because um, he's donated a lot of his time today to um, help me get sorted with an engine that I can go and race at Brands with. Um, when the 1040 went pop, I had no intention of entering brands to be honest i thought uh, the, the race season was done um, i was quite happy to i'm not happy about it but i was you know ready just to throw the car in the unit and um, leave it there until winter and maybe look at getting it ready for next year but um yeah no a massive thank you to him um, it's 10 o'clock now wednesday night and he's only just started shimming the um, camshaft up for, for his own engine, um, he's then going to bolt the head on and see if he can get a tune out of it on the dyno um, tonight. So that's probably going to be in, into the early hours of the morning. I, I just hope it all goes well for him. Um, but yeah, so just don't beat me, Andy, on Sunday. That, that's not acceptable. <laughs> no, that's, um, it'd be good to see him do really well. Um, he's obviously not been out for a long time since um, probably since HSCC. Was, probably the last time he was out in the blue and silver car so uh, yeah to race alongside him is going to be good fun I'm looking forward to it um, and hopefully I'll make some fantastic videos for you um, I think the in-car footage is going to be great so uh, yeah be interested to see where where all of these imps are going to um, how, how they're going to stack up against some of the other other stuff um, yeah looking forward to it so uh, yeah cheers an octopus the day was off. What a way to spend 21 hours. That was a long day. Hopefully it was all worth it.